Good evening, everybody. It's Harry Boxler, the Technical Trader. It's uh, Turn Around Tuesday, September the 27th. And uh, the reason I say that is because the stock sure had an abrupt change about after a very strong morning and midday. They turn around and plunge in the afternoon, taking back a big chunk of the losses. And even though it ended up on a, up on a day the technicals looked good, it was a bit deceiving. So let's look at some of the shorts. We haven't gone over them since the weekend. And I wanted to sh show you some of the progress with that some of these shorts have made. Um, starting off with um, Helmerich and Payne, HP. You'll see that the big top, uh, one, two, three, four, five wave decline, was followed by this bounce, but abrupt reversal today. Moving down from 49 to 45.09, closing you near know, the session lows, it's extremely negative indicator, and a big gain was taken back, although the gap was filled. This could lead to at least a retest of the low, about 42 and a half, and potentially a takeout that gets us down into the mid 30s if this market does fall apart. We'll see. Etran, ADTN. Uh, this broke the uh, bear flag that it had been in and retested the August low, only to snap back to the moving average. And then today abruptly re reversed from 3004 to 2852, closing just a little bit above that, but a loss on a day, so a reversal session. We may see a retest of this low at 2725 and a takeout of that could lead to a, a plunge down towards 23 and a half, 24. Coles, the snapback that occurred recently took it right up to declining tops line, lateral price resistance, and moving average, and then another reversal day today, 49 to 47, 46, and closes pennies off the low. We're on a negative day. Um, this could lead to a retest down towards the 43, 4 zone, and even much worse if it does fall apart and take out those lows, we can see high 30s. AWI or Armstrong World. After breaking a top and coming down hard, it bounced right back to resistance and reversed. Came down in a three-wave decline and then rallied back up to retest that line. But today, back way off of that line from um, 38 and a half to 36.82. And um, only up 17 cents on the day, but that pretty much is a reversal day as it closed back below the uh, 50 and 20 when they moving averages. And it could easily see a retest of the 34 and a half, 35 range. And if this line is broken, a plunge into the 29.30 zone may take place. FFIV, after coming down hard in July and bouncing its back and forth for about the six, seven week period, retested the low here, bounced, and today backed off the 21 day moving average. If this one pulls back down and takes out 71.2, we can see this move into the uh, low to mid 60s even. MCO, Moody's, this bear wedge of sorts or bear flag reversed sharply off there and then bounced. Only to back off again today. Let's keep an eye on this line here below 29 and three quarters. We can see a retest at 26 and three quarters and maybe much worse down towards 24. BMC has been able, little, been able to do little except consolidate in what looks like a bear flag here. Note that the move up to the declining 50 day moving average touched it and backed away quickly before bouncing, but fairly feeble bounce with no technical surge whatsoever. Could lead to lower levels. Let's look for something in the low mid 30s. FDS fact set has had a nice one, two, three, four, five wave move back up to the declining tops line, near lateral price resistance, and actually took out the 50. Retested it and then bounced. So this is actually somewhat bullish, and I would hesitate shorting this until I saw whether it was going to back off here and come down and take out 86 and a half, 87, at which point it would be a better short for move down towards the 79.80 range. Cabot Microelectronics um, has been bear wedging, rising wedge here, a plunge and a snapback, which failed at the 21 day and backed off. This one could very easily get down towards 31.32, my trading target. TCLP has been in a nice little bear flag, and it's about time it pulled back down and broke down here. If it got below 43 and a half, 44. I would expect we could see a rollover test of 39 and a half, 40, and perhaps much worse down towards the high 30s if the market gets pretty ugly here. USF Domtar, bear flag, right to resistance, rolled over, took out the rising channel, and then right back to it before it backed away today after and plunged back below the 15, 20 when they moving average to close with a nominal gain on the day. It's still up at dollar 46, excuse me, but it was up at one point up to three. If this comes down, it could retest 670 and then take that out and retest its mid 60s, and that's what my target is. Microchip, MCHP, um, 
if the double bottoming one, two, three wave rally back to the declining tops line, bounced off the trend line, and then today backed off. If this one fails here and rolls over and takes out this line, you can see a move down towards the high 20s before it's over. And lastly, today, analog devices, ADI, has rallied back in a, a kind of a bear flag as well. I'm looking for a rollover and a takeout of 31 three quarters, which leads to a test of the lows around 29 and a half, and eventually potentially down towards 27. That's it for tonight. Be careful out there tomorrow. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.